Welcome to Chill with Kimmy B. I'll be showing you how to cook rice. Prepare tin mackerel by Grace Tin Mackerel. So I have my rice here as well as my measuring cup and my seasoning already cut up for the tin mackerel. Okay, and this is my pot that I'm going to prepare the rice in. And why I'm showing this video about the rice is you can cook it on the stove without using a rice cooker sometimes a lot of people haven't been successful cooking rice the rice may come um, uncooked soggy and burnt so I'm just gonna show you a quick process of how to cook the rice and for guidance it depends on the amount of people you have in your family you can make rice right we don't normally measure the rice but I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on how you can get your rice to cook good so I'm just gonna measure the rice and then let you know what how much water you should use okay so I have my rice here and it's half liter 500 ml Yes. And I'm gonna pour it in my container and I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna give the rice about two to three wash because when you wash the rice, the water is white and you want to, it's not gonna come clear, but at least you know you wash a lot of whatever is on the rice, okay? So for a minute, I'm gonna show you the process. process. I've washed the rice three times and I'm gonna just put it in the pot. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna cook, show you how I cook my rice differently. Um, some people, you know, cooking can be done differently. Some people have the water there boiling and then they pour the, 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 the rice. I do it a different way where I see good results. So I'm just going to show you. This is my rice. I'm going to place the rice in my pot. Yes, yeah, so this is the pot that I'm going to cook the rice in. I'm just going to place it in the rice in the pot. Pour the water in the I have it at the same mark as the rice the water so I'm gonna pour my water in the pot right and put it on the stove I yes here's my pot I put it on with the rice and I tip a little salt in it and I'm gonna have my butter in the pot. Yes, I have the rice here. As I said, you have to, based on the amount of water that you pour in the pot, you have to just judge it. So, when this boils down, you can either go to test your rice if you want more water. If you, you feel one grain of the rice to see if it's going to cook. And you add a little more water to the pot. So I'm just going to just wait and to see when this water goes down to see if it want more water to cook the rice. So this is my another pot, another pot here that I have to cook the tin mackerel. Yes, the nice, lovely greased jam tin mackerel in tomato sauce. Okay, and I have the two cut up and ready to put in my pot. Just placing everything into the pot. My onion, my bell pepper, my hot pepper, my tomatoes, my garlic and my thyme in my oil. And I'm gonna put it in the tin mackerel. So this is the pot. I have already had some more water. As I said, when the first water Whilst you, you test one grain to see if it's tough or soft, 
to decide if you should have more water. So I did. And I'm going to check now to see if everything else. Try it out of my rice. Yes. So the well, no more water is not in there. So I'm going to turn down my stove and cover it and let it uh, steam. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little salt to my tin mackerel and cover it down and leave it to cook. I put, I put in my tin mackerel and I had to add a little water and ketchup to taste and then I'm going to put a little salt in my pot as well as for the rice I have to add in some more water in it because the water boiled down and I have to add a little water for it to cook okay yes this is my rice finished cook and this is my tin mackerel finish as well as this is my veg okay complete with my rice my tin mackerel and my sweet corn thank you all for watching my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and peace.